most favorite spots in the whole world. And that's, yep, you guessed it, a deer stand. I've only been here for a few minutes and I haven't seen anything yet. I do hear a little woodpecker. I think he left now. He was up on top of the tree here. Sounded like he was doing Morse code. Tapping away. I'll talk a little bit about what I've seen over the last two weeks. I haven't seen a whole lot. My best day, I seen nine. And there was a okay buck, but I left him go. I figure next year, if he don't get hit by a car, he'd probably be a pretty nice one. It looked like it was a big six, and the rack was a little past his ears. Um, what was neat about it, he was about 100 yards away, and he was grunting so loud. I never heard a deer grunt so loud chasing a doe, and uh, it was really neat to watch. Let me just go ahead and show you. That's the soybean field. My sign is over there. All the other days I've seen, I think one day I've seen four, and then I might have seen like one here and there, but like I said, the, the best day was when I seen that buck. But um, the evening's still pretty early. It's not over yet. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, I'll turn it off for now. And if I see something exciting or some squirrels or birds fly close by or whatever, I'll go ahead and turn it back on. Still haven't seen anything yet. I haven't even seen a squirrel. A lot of little songbirds. When I first came out at the house to walk one back, there was a hot air balloon he was flying really close to the ground. I mean close, and then he went back up. He did that a couple times. Here's my 4570 Henry. And there are my headphones. And what I do is if I see something I'm gonna harvest, I go ahead and put them on. A lot of people think, wow, why aren't you taking a chance of scaring a deer away? Well, you know, so far I never had and uh, when I first started hunting, I never wore headphones, but it wasn't much later I started to. Because it just makes your ears ring, and it's very important to protect your ears. That six-pointer I was talking about. Anthony seen seen it two times and my brother seen it one time so I think it's the same one that's been running around in here Anthony he seen a little bit more deer than I did hunting this year he's like a salt lick I don't know what it is about him but he could sit in the middle of a road and see deer they just I think he's a salt leg. Boy, the woods are pretty. What a beautiful time of the year. And I can't believe how nice and warm it still is. I still haven't seen it.
The last day of hunting in the state of Maryland, I did a video out of my deer stand. And I, it wasn't a real long one, but it was a nice one. And I didn't get to end it, so I'm gonna just mention a few more things. That evening, um, after I uh, turned it off last and didn't bring it back up, I heard a few shots. When me and my son was walking out, we noticed a, a big pile of feathers. Actually, we both did coming in but we didn't investigate it. So on the way out, we did. And uh, it looked like somebody took a pillar and just busted it open. And uh, what it looked like was, uh, um, it was hawk feathers. You take a three foot circle and it looked like a mess of feathers just spread it out. And it was hawk feathers. It didn't look like a large hawk. So the only thing, you know, what eats a hawk? What gets a hawk? Well, there was a pair of large owls hunting this area. So I'm thinking maybe the owl happened to spot the hawk in its roost at night, swooped it up and got it. That's the only thing I can think of. But anyway, um, didn't, get, didn't harvest any deer this year, but the main thing is having a great time, memories with whoever you're hunting with, your, your grandfather, brothers, uh, your dad, whoever, your good friends, in fact, that's what it's all about. And it's just so nice to get out in the woods and see the beauty that the Lord has given us. And um, didn't harvest one, but I know what I did harvest. A great hunting trip and time, one more season with my son. And I pray to God, I have many, many more of them with me and him. And I hope everybody out there had a wonderful time. And just remember, if you didn't get that big buck, He's out there waiting for you next year. So just remember, be someone important, be yourself. Till next time, God bless. See ya.